So with this example problem, we need to find the value of a when we rewrite 2 thirds raised to the x plus 4 minus 2 thirds to the x as a multiplied by 2 thirds to the x. So we are given this difference here, we're subtracting, and we want to rewrite this so that we just have one term here rather than two separate terms that we're subtracting. So to do that, let's first start by just rewriting everything. So we have 2 thirds and we're raising that to the x plus 4 power. And then we're subtracting 2 thirds to the x. Now, somehow we need to separate this 2 thirds to the x so that we can combine these two terms. And for this second term and our difference here, we already have 2 thirds to the x power. But in this first term, we have 2 thirds to the x plus 4. So somehow we got to separate this exponent of 4 and this exponent of x. And to do that, we need to recognize that we have a sum in our exponents. So if we have, let's say, x to the a plus b power, then this could be rewritten as x to the a multiplied by x to the b. Since remember that if we have two exponential expressions with the same base, that we can add the exponents. So we're essentially working in reverse. Usually we see it written like this and then combine it to make a sum. But now we have a sum and we're going to go backwards. So let's rewrite this as 2 thirds to the x power multiplied by 2 thirds to the fourth power. So notice that we have the same base, so we would be able to recombine these by adding the two exponents like we originally had. And we're still subtracting this 2 thirds to the x power. And now we can just use factorization. So we can notice that we have this 2 thirds to the x in each of our terms. So we can just factor that out. So if we factor something out, we're essentially just dividing each of the terms by this 2 thirds to the x. And for this first term, we're still going to be left with this 2 thirds raised to the fourth power. And for this second term, since we're dividing 2 thirds to the x by 2 thirds to the x, we're just going to be left with 1. So we'd have minus 1 there. And you can check this by just redistributing and noticing that you would get back what you started with. So comparing it to what we're looking for, this a value, we were able to factor out the 2 thirds to the x power. So that means that this expression here in brackets, this is our a value. So a is just 2 thirds to the fourth minus 1. And if we want, we can simplify further. We could actually raise this to the fourth power. So remember when raising a fraction to an exponent that the numerator and the denominator are both raised to that exponent. So that's really just 2 to the 4th over 3 to the 4th minus 1. Now 2 to the 4th, that's 16, and 3 to the 4th is 81. And if we want to actually combine these two terms with subtraction, we'll give this a common denominator of 81. So 1 is really just 81 over 81. And from here, we just carry out our subtraction. So 16 minus 81, or you can do it in reverse, 81 minus 16 would be 65, and we just want the opposite of that. So you get minus 65 over 81, so that will be our A value here.